Ich stehe hier mit Cesare Igaccia, Senior Vice President von Leonardo. Das ist die italienische Firma, die die neuen Helikopter für das österreichische Bundesheer hergestellt hat. Wir sehen im Hintergrund ein Exemplar. Nun mein, mein Interview oder meine Frage auf Englisch. Was ist denn das Besondere an diesem Helikopter? What is the most interesting point of the new helicopter? The helicopter is a, is a very recent aircraft. Uh, has been uh, quite successful in the market. The latest technology developed uh, by in-house by Leonardo. Uh, It's been quite successful on the market with over 300 pieces sold and half of them already sold, both in the military and in the civil market. It basically has the latest technology that you can, you can think about in an helicopter. Air defense is getting more and more important, also for a small country like Austria. So why would Leonardo be a good partner or the products of Leonardo? It is very flexible. It does allow to, to perform different missions. So a purely military mission from training to multi-role and a, a dedicated military mission, but also in the civil market in terms of disaster relief, uh, search and rescue. So it allows the uh, Air Force of Austria to perform many tasks with just one platform. And this is thanks to the, perf the, to the flexibility of the platform, to the way it is conceived, uh, to the size of the cabin and to the number of passengers it can carry. One, one question about the Air Power 2022. Do you enjoy the festival, the show? I, I do travel extensively. I would say that this is the best uh, show in the world uh, because of the number of exhibitors, the number of people and the atmosphere that you feel. The firma Leonardo presented here in, bei der Airbau 2022 nicht nur den Helikopter, sondern auch einen Jet, den wir jetzt im Hintergrund sehen. Und äh, Mauro Delle Donne, der Head of Europe bei Leonardo, wird uns jetzt erklären, was diesen Jet so speziell macht. Also, what is the interesting thing about this jet? What can you tell us about it? So, first of all, we are here at Delta to present the 346, the M346, as the ideal solutions for the replacement of the Sub 105 that was recently phased out by the Austrian Air Force. The aircraft is a dual engine, um, advanced jet trainer, uh, which has been used by different air forces for uh, training their uh, jet pilots. And it's now being presented by Leonardo also in a new fighter attack configuration, which uh, uh, will have also integrated uh, uh, Grifo radar uh, and uh, uh, defense subsystems and uh, uh, seven hard points for uh, the integration of uh, air to air and air to ground uh, weapons. That means this jet can uh, help the Oro fighter when, it, when it's going to be a defense case. Yeah, yes, which which means that this jet can be used both as a trainer and, and to support and complement the Eurofighter for uh, air policy. So it would be a good solution for a small country like Austria to improve the, the defense? Uh, we, we, we believe so. Yes, the, all the performance and the system that are needed to support, as I was saying, to support the Eurofighter for air policy operations. Uh, and that is, uh, we, we believe, uh, what Austria needs uh, today. Mm -hmm. Because I think the consciousness about having a more elaborated uh, air defense is now established by the war in the Ukraine. So what do you think? It's now a good point for, to invest in air defense? It is certainly a good point to invest in uh, defense. Uh, as I, say, uh, I was saying, uh, Austria already has a very good capability, which is being uh, provided by Eurofighter. Uh, that is a very one of the best uh, air superiority aircraft that is available on the market today. Uh, historically, uh, Austria has always used, uh, complemented the Eurofighter uh, with another jet. So uh, up to a few years ago, I mean, uh, they were uh, uh, performed supporting uh, uh, the Eurofighter through the Sub-105. Uh, this is uh, the natural uh, uh, replacement to the Sub-105. Thank you very much. Thank you.